Today is um, International World Peace Day, and one of the things across the world, <coughs> they, excuse me, that they do, uh, that some people do anyway, um, in schools is make pinwheels for peace. Ta-da! Um, I made this one already, but I wanted to show you how to make these. Now, you will need um, a stick or something like that. You'll need a thumbtack or they say a, a push pin or something that you can put the, the little thing in. And you'll need your paper. I chose um, to do this one. I just had a little bit of scrap paper, but I've got one here to show you. Now, you'll need a square, a uh, complete square. I actually measured this and I measured it at, let me see again, um, five and three quarters inch all the way around. So five and three quarters inch. And then you need to mark it from each corner two and three quarters. Now I went to, did an X so I could find the exact center, but you will need only two and three quarters on each one. Then what you do, is you take your scissors and you cut after you've cut your square you cut your two and three quarters only and just like so and make sure that you get absolutely on the corners of each one. Now, what they say to do for pinwheels for, pinwheels for peace is to write something like um, something that you want to, your feelings about war, peace, tolerance, liberty and harmony, that kind of thing. So I'm going to write um, some things like live in harmony. Um, live in peace, and uh, let's love one another. And one more, you don't have to do four, you could do one or you could do um, all four. And the last one I'm going to do is live in tolerance. Now, the next thing you want to do after you've done that is you want to take this and now on this one I actually did it a little bit backwards than I wanted to do. But you take your corner, okay, and you just take a corner and you fold it into that dot in the middle. Remember the dot in the middle? Well, in this case, my dot came through because I used permanent marker. So you want to fold it but not fold it down so that it just gives you a little like that okay and then you can hold it now I when I was first doing this I tried to hold it and I didn't hold it very well so I suggest using tape and tape them down each time because it makes it lots easier for you so go ahead and do that first one and tape it down like so. Then you skip this corner and go to the next corner and do the same thing. Just, whoops, fold it over into the middle. Well, that's if it wants to stay. Fold it over into the middle and either hold it or tuck it down. And then you do that for every other corner. So I have two more. I know this is the worst thing to do on your teeth, but that's okay. So there's my corner. I skip that one and go to this one. Pack it down. And then skip this one. I go to this one and tack it down. And 
And what you will have is four corners of the pinwheel, like so. And you have your words on the back if you want. So you got the pinwheel. Now, they say to take your tack, which I have a little thumb tack. Take your, th your thumb tack or your pen or whatever and put it in the middle so you have the spinning part. Now you have to make sure that you get it through all four points, obviously. Because if you don't, it won't spin. Just like so. Then you take your wood or whatever you're going to put it on and you just simply push it through. Now what I'm going to do, because this is a little thicker wood, I am actually going to hammer it. So, um, and I have to really actually redo this real quick because mine came apart. And so, like that, and take your hammer or whatever. And like I said, I'm going to take mine. And voila! I've got my, and it spins as you can see. And then mine, mine is a little bit too thick. Probably you want to probably use a little thinner wood, and then just stick it out in the wind, and let the let your thoughts fly into the wind, and think of peace. Isn't that wonderful? So there you have it. Pinwheels for peace. Enjoy. Bye bye.